Yo guys, what is up? It is Mushroom Gecko here, and welcome back to another Redstone Commander. And today we are at an Apple store in Minecraft. Oh, it looks like they're having a sale. Free AirPods. Wow, an Apple store that actually cares about its customers and future customers by giving them uh, neat snazzy sales and actually don't try to rip them off. Hmm, maybe other Apple stores should, you know, take after. Anywho, let's get our free AirPods. Whoa. They look so sexy. Oh my god. Look at them. They're fantastic. Look at them. Oh my god. They look so good. Oh, they pop out of your face, but that's fine. They're AirPods. Apple's the king of all. Not really. Android for the win. So, yeah. I have made AirPods in Minecraft. Taken up after the meme. Or the AirPod memes in uh, Minecraft. So, real quick. I'm just gonna kill these because in first person view they look really really bad but if you walk you know it's fine I guess you run the instructor view again so yeah uh, the memes regarding the airpods of minecraft uh, I've looked around try to see if there was any redstone ones there has not been any redstone ones uh, it always requires either a mod or a resource pack um, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna make this entirely vanilla. So I did that. So let me just kill these real quick. I'm bada bing. And let's dig inside the Apple store. Whoa, yo, what up, Siri? So let's go into here. This first block is gonna execute at the nearest player, which is me or you or whoever's running the command, to run a summon command, summoning a Minecraft armor stand at your exact position that makes it invisible. And vulnerable, have no base plate, making it small, make it have no gravity, make it have a marker of one, and I'll explain what that is later. And having it the tag AirPod one. Okay, so let me explain tag. Tag is pretty much the custom names of armor stands now, right? So we're pretty much giving a custom name of AirPod one because we're gonna have two AirPods. You don't want to have a missing AirPod now, do you? Unless you have wires. If you have wires, they never go missing. So this next block. Uh, it's going to replace the item on that armor stand with the MBT tag of AirPod 1. So it's targeting an armor stand with the tag AirPod 1. And it's going to replace the head slot of the armor stand with Minecraft legging leggings. I know, it's a weird place to put leggings. But right here, it's going to put the leggings on the armor stand. So these next two blocks is pretty much doing the exact same thing except with the AirPod 2. Same here, AirPod 2. Gonna replace the head leggings. And when we summon it, you get two AirPods, right? So let me explain to you how this all works. So let's go over here to this first guy. This is the stationary guy. This is this makes it so that you have your AirPods when you're stationary, right? So real quick, I'm just gonna kill these so I can go in the first person and they aren't annoying. Um, actually, I should, I should probably have them for the demonstration. Oof. Okay, so over here, what it's going to first do is execute at the closest player, me, to run a teleport command with the type of Minecraft armor stand and the MBT tag of AirPod 1 to go 0.2 blocks to the right. So over here. 0.4 up, so it's next to your face, and 0.3 in front. And I'll explain why, because if you make these all zero, what it's gonna do is it's gonna do that. It's gonna go behind you, and it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look like, you have, I don't know, some sort of backpack or something. So what we're gonna do is make it 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and 0.3. So it looks like an AirPod. So it's next to your face and it's inside of your head and relatively next to your ears. Uh, so yeah, the second block does pretty much the exact same thing. Oh, I forgot to explain facing. So this facing is going to make the armor stand face uh, 90 degrees relative to your character. So if you make this zero, it's going to look like that. It's, we don't want it to look like that we want it to be next to our face so we make that 90 degrees on the z-axis and it goes next to our face and we are cool so this next one is a data merge targeting the armor stand 
And this limit equals one is pretty much telling the computer, hey, we're only gonna target uh, one object because the data merge will not work if you're not targeting just one object. I don't know why Minecraft just doesn't like that. And we're gonna be targeting the armor stand with the MBT tag of AirPod one. And we're gonna make it go on fire. And the reason why we do that is because over here, this marker thing, let me go down, this marker thing does two things. One, you can punch through your armor stands and it will not affect them because the hitbox is super, 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 super small. Two, the lighting regarding the armor stands, you got markers on them, acts different. So if you light them on fire, the fire will not show. And the reason why we catch them on fire is because if we did not have the marker one and they were not on fire, they would be inside of this block, which doesn't sound like an issue, right? Because if we're if we're jumping right here, falling off, they would be technically inside these blocks. And the, the reason why we do the fire thing, because if they are inside the block, um, a solid block, that is, they will turn black. We don't want them to turn black. The reason why is because if they're inside of a solid block, there is no lighting. So we give them lighting by catching them on fire. And the marker, since it doesn't show the fire, it pretty much, you know, shows them perfectly with lighting. And it looks good. Uh, okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, so that still works. I'm like, why are you not working? Right? So this one catches AirPod 1 on fire. And this one also catches AirPod 2 on fire. Oh, real quick. Uh, regarding back to them turning black. Um, if they're inside of a block and they turn black, you can like, it'll, it'll look cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, you can have them turn black, but when you jump or you do any weird movements, they'll turn back to silver, right? And we just want them to stay one consistent color. So we just catch them on fire to make them stay their natural gloss silver color like they are in real life, right? So over here, what it's going to do Oh, I need to explain something real quick. So we have two scoreboard commands, all right? So we have a scoreboard, um, hang on, we, so we have two scoreboard commands, walk and run. So what we are going to do with those is they track your walking and running, which will teleport the armor stands or your AirPods differently depending on what you are doing. So if we add, like walk one, yep, walk one, uh, minecraft dot custom dot walk one centimeter. That is going to track whenever you walk one centimeter, right? So if we go inside this command block, uh, we're going to execute at the player with the score walk equals zero. Well, not just zero, it's greater than zero. That's what these two dots after that zero means. So if walk is equal or is greater than zero, this will run. So if we're stationary, it's going to be activating that line over there. But if we walk, this line will activate. Now you're going to be like, Mushroom Gecko, what's the point of that? It doesn't seem like you need to do that. And I'll explain why I need to do that. Because here's the thing. Right here, this 0.85 is way larger than this point three over here and there's a reason for that because if we made this point three and we start walking it goes behind our head and we do not want that we want it to be flush next to our face so we account for that by making this point eight five by making it go in front of where it actually wants it to go same thing over here uh execute uh at the player with the score walk greater than zero turn a teleport command Minecraft armor stand, with the MBT tag AirPod 2, uh, at negative 2, kind of like what we did over here, 0.4 and 0.5, like this one, so it's flush to our face as we walk, and it's fantastic. So, uh, also, the facing thing for these two are the exact same as over there, because like I said, once again, if you change it to zero, uh, it acts really weird, and it goes in front of you, and it turns, and we don't want that, so we just keep that at a 90. All right, All right, and then what this does is it is going to reset the closest player's score of walk to zero. So if if the closest player has a score of walk greater than zero, it's gonna reset it. So after this line goes, these two go, this third one resets it. And the reason why we want to reset it is because when we go stationary again, we want them to be flush next to our face because. If we take this out 
and we walk, it stays in front of us and we don't want that, right? So we're gonna put that back in. And if we walk like that, and if we stop walking, they go back to our face. So yes, that's what this line does. And this other line is pretty much the exact same thing as walking, but with a run command. So if we do slash scoreboard objectives, add run one, and then we do Minecraft dot custom, oop, custom dot spr come on. Uh, Minecraft dot sprint one centimeter. So that's running in Minecraft. It's called sprint. Uh, so if we are sprinting, we're going to activate this line. And sprinting is faster than walking. So if we use the same thing as over here, 0.85, as over here is 1.15. So 0.85. And if we sprint, it's going to go in front of us a little bit. We don't want that. We want it actually which one is that is it in front no it's the one behind us so it's that one right there it just looks weird so we're gonna make it and since uh since running is faster we're just gonna make it go ahead just a little bit further so 1.15 so as we sprint now you know it's flush to our face it doesn't look too weird and it looks pretty good right and this other block is the same thing it's gonna test or it's gonna execute at the player with the score run greater than zero so if we are sprinting that is greater than zero it's going to teleport the armor stand with the tag airpod one to point two which is over here point four which is up and 1.15 which is a little bit more in front than what that was over there and it also has the same facing command this one does the same thing but with airpod two and this block right here does the same exact thing as this block over here, except it's resetting run if a run score is greater than zero. So yeah, uh, no texture packs, no mods. I don't know why it's starting to, okay, there we go. No texture packs, no mods, all just handy redstone and command blocks. And we have AirPods in Minecraft. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, the, the commands will be in the description below. So you can make your own AirPods in Minecraft. And oh, real quick, I forgot to mention something. If you look up, the AirPods do some weird things. If you look down, they do some weird things. Uh, they work best if you're just looking straight, but it's fine if you look down or up. And uh, if you walk in, if you look up, they go even higher. If you look down, they go even lower. Same with sprinting, it's even worse. But it's all, it's all good. As long as you're looking in front, it shouldn't be too bad. Yes, this is really glitchy and I may redo this sometimes in the future like I did with my capes but for now this is the best we can do in Minecraft regarding AirPods oh and the reason why we do pants is because if it's inside your head they kind of look like AirPods they so if we look up iron boots I was originally going to do them with boots but the AirPod looked inverted and we did not want that so I just went with leggings so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the AirPods. Uh, live a wonderful life in the mycelium mushrooms. Have a good cut. Uh, have a good time in the club gecko and keep those gems shiny. Everyone, gecko out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching, and see you all next time.